Hey peeps, Candace here with Cam's Only One Life. I am going to do the process video for this month's ATCs and mail art. So uh, for the ATCs, I had some pre-sprayed uh, uh, papers and I keep them in here. I'm actually, look at them running low. I go through quite a bit of this, these pre-sprayed papers and I also use file folders to spray because they're thicker. So sometime I want to use this dark blue one. It's pretty, isn't it? So the theme for this month is nature. So I wanted to do the process. I took, I had these swatches from Home Depot and I don't know how I ended up with so many, but I just cut them down to two and a half by three and a half. And I'm gonna, and I am putting them on the back and gluing that together so that'll make a nice thick ATC so the rest of those I'll get to later so let's see what I've got next for these so now I need some green paper and I don't have anything already pre-sprayed that I have enough of so I'm just going to take this cardstock I'm going to take some of the color wash And I'm just going to try to make this as sort of muddled as possible because you don't want everything to be like all one color. You want to sort of mix it up because this is going to be for some grass, I think. I'm going to use this for grass. That's actually a nice color. That's the Delusions. And I have another Delusions. And it is, that was Dirty Martini. This is Fresh Lime. Oh, that's a little bit brighter. That's nice. I like to really saturate when I spray um, because it just gives a really nice color. This is Mushy Peas, and I haven't tried this one yet. So, okay. And let's see. Um, I think I might try a little bit of Distress Oxide. I haven't actually used any of this yet. So I have the Bundled Sage and I actually haven't used any of these sprays yet so I'm not sure how this is going to be. But just a little spray there. Pine Needles. I'm not sure that I like that for this but that's okay. And this. This is Cut Grass. This might be what I'm looking for. That's actually really nice. Okay, then I'm going to spray some of this Perfect Pearls Mists. And this is the Sour Apple. And I don't even know if this will spray. This will just give it some, uh, it's not spraying. This will give it some sparkle which I like oh. what I like about the perfect pearls is that it's pretty it's pretty um it doesn't really cover up what you've done it just adds the sparkle a little bit of sparkle so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave this to dry and then we'll come back uh, and use this later for some grass. While I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to take these extra pieces and I'm going to use this punch and get some leaves going. Some small leaves. I have also this that would make really nice small leaves, but I'm not sure that I will be able to get this punch through. This is file folder. Oh, that does work. So maybe I'll get some dark ones too. And then usually with the leaves, you really do want to take and um, and go around the edge. So I'm going to take the, this one is pine needle, so i use this one for the darker ones. 
and you basically just want to go around the edge. It kind of just makes them a little bit more um, 3D instead of flat looking. So I'm going to do all of these and then we'll come back and keep going on this. I'm going to take this paper. This is just a color book paper and I just tore it so I can make like little mountains on here. So I'm going to go ahead and get that on next. Next I'm going to take this uh, alterations die and I'm going to cut out this little branch and I'm going to use this. This this I got a long time ago on eBay and it's it's sticky back and it's just very it's veneer wood so it's very very thin. But because it's sticky back, I can um, cut it and it's easy to just stick on things. So I'm going to try to get six out of here and, uh, and see how that goes. That, that worked out really well. So now I want to take these and I want to see how I can get these on here as a branch that's sort of hanging in. So you would think of it as something that's coming in from the outside from the front so the tree is over here maybe and then I've got these smaller trees that I would like to put here I don't know how much of that branch I really need I could probably do a smaller piece of it and then some of these leaves off of it to show some spring and some nature and I probably need to get a little pop of some other color in here so we'll work on that and see how that goes so before I put this other stuff on here I want to get the grass on um, I've got some scissors that cut sort of grass but I also have I also have this Fiskars and this kind of used usually works really well for me so I think I'm going to go with this um, I'm going to move this off because this is going to make a bunch of little pieces so let's just start with this and see how it goes Well, this cut in very nicely, and I have this nice piece left over for another project, so that can go away. So I want to I want to just get the I want to get a taller piece in the back and a shorter piece in the front, like this. And then maybe some of this left over here can go in the back like this. So that'll kind of fill it in nicely. I think that will look great. So, but I do feel like I need to put a little bit of ink on the edge of this so that it doesn't blend in too much. So let's take this back. Maybe a little bit of this in the back of it. I don't know. I'm almost thinking that I like it like that. So this is what I have. And then I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And then 
one of these branches. This is might be a little bit difficult to figure out. Let's see here. And then I want to start picking out some good leaves for the branch. So let's see. There's, I want the light leaves to be in front of the darker and the darker color and then the dark leaf to be in front of the lighter. Now I'm going to need some little flowers or something in here and I need some other color because this is very green so I'm going to see what I can find for papers that I can use these little flowers and just sprinkle a few flowers in here because this is extremely green um, so let me go check that out and I'll be back so I have this um, picture left over from Love Pop Flowers I thought I might try some of that I think that's pretty I'm pretty happy with that and now I'm going to finish these off by um, taking and doing a little bit around the edge um, with some pine needles distress ink just to give it that framed in look just helps to have a framed in look so I'm going to finish that up. These ATCs explaining what the ATC is, who made it, and stuff like that on the back, and I will be done. So there you have it. You've got six. They are very similar but not exactly the same um, but you get the idea of how to put together an ATC um, the thing about it is the first one always takes a while because you're trying to figure out what works and then it goes pretty quickly after that and you don't have to do this much paper piecing this was a lot of gluing and paper piecing and and inking um, some people do a lot simpler um, I'm gonna give you some examples here Here's a couple that I got in swaps. You can see this one is just a background and then a little bit of paper piecing. This might even be a sticker, I'm not sure. This is a nice background with just some layers. So you can collage, you can paint, you can... Here's one that's been drawn. So if you're a person that draws, uh, that would be awesome. Or you can stamp an image and then color it in. And that's easy as well. So there is still time to join. There's plenty of time. This swap joining will go through May 15th. So you've got a couple of weeks to, to if you want to trade for one of these. Okay. So the link is below to get to the swap. If you uh, don't use Facebook, just email me and I'll add you to the list and we'll figure all that out um, because it's easy. The way we're doing it is easy rather than partners. You just send them all into me and then I just send them back. So, okay. Thanks for watching and we'll see you over at the group or like I said, email me. Have a great day and a happy spring.